So, we all know the, let's put it like this, Leonardo da Vinci, what's the first thing you think? Engineer, philanthropist, artist. The Mona Lisa, his journal of all his crazy designs. Artists, what can we define that as? Those who create works of entertainment for people who just want to look at pretty things. You know, writers, painters, poetry people. I guess you could go actors, artists if you wanted to. I mean, it's a very broad term. Um, <coughs> but there's always one question that people sometimes they always ask me. And I always remember, you know, when I was you know, in high school, I used to write, be like, how do you do it? What, what makes you a writer? We do this. So we can expand that into what makes someone artistic? What makes someone, and, you know, someone who, like, a painter or a poetry person or, sorry, poet? That's what I'm looking for. You know, like I said, I double in writing, like Daniel, 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 yeah. Daniel, David, Daniel told you in his speech, I write, I'm still working on it. It's changed a lot since he told you, but God, I still work on it. And it, it really, it's not as complicated as you think it would be. What makes someone artistic? Practice. That's it. It's, you sit down, you take time out of your schedule, you sit down and you write or you draw. If you're in the middle of a class, you know what you can do to practice, you want to draw something, just doodle in your, doodle in your um, margins. And there's a quote I found online, it's floating around. It's, people always say, I wish I could draw. No, you don't wish you could draw. You wish you were drawing right now. You wish you were working on that one thing you're passionate about because if you want to do it, do it. You don't wish, you don't wish for it. You go out, grab it, do it for yourself. Get that satisfaction, get that rush of, oh my God, I did something so cool. Let me show all my friends, oh. you know. It's, it's someone thing like you, uh, going into the, the second point here, that, like, literally, first point, that's it. Just gotta practice, that's what makes someone artistic. And how do you do it? You just stick with it. Establish time to work. I myself, I devote two hours a day to write a page. And if I don't write a page, then I'll work on someone's backstory. If it's not someone's backstory, I'll work on my piece of crap map. Because a fleshed out world is the most awesome thing you can do. And if, you know, if, you, if you're not sure, if you're not sure about what you do, so you go to your friend and say, hey, how is this drawing? Or hey, how is this paragraph? Can you help me edit? Can you help me give me some tips on maybe some shading tips? Or like, how is the hands? I know for artists, hands are like hard to draw. I don't know why. So like people are always like, hey, help me draw hands. I'm like, oh, okay. I can't help you, but I know, I know a guy. I know a guy who can help draw hands. He lives on the corner of Fifth and Eighth. <laughs> And, you know, with, with artists and people who you know, draw for stuff, commission. If you want to do something, have people commission you. I know I've paid $75 for a two-character art commission because I wanted to see what my two characters looked like from this thing I'm working on. And it was worth it because someone breathes life into something you've worked on for so long. And it's pretty cool. And another thing, if you want to, you know, practice and not whatnot, if you want opinions, put it online. You got Tumblr, I know Tumblr is actually a really rough place to put art out on, but put it on Tumblr, or make a DeviantArt page, put it on on DeviantArt, or start a blog. If you want to do your poetry, put a poetry blog, or do like, there's so much you can, if you want to be artistic, you practice, and you get everyone's opinion. It's a public field. It's, you don't be daunted, you don't be intimidated by whatever other people think. You just do it, because that's your thing. Um, so, you know, I've just rambled on quickly about what makes people artistic, and I sit in the first paragraph. It's practice. Practice what makes someone artistic. And um, I hope, you know, someone may go home tonight and maybe you know, work on a poem you've always wanted to do, or you'll write something, or, you know, you'll sing. Singing is art. Sing, go sing. Go do some music stuff. Yeah. 